I'm Jay Graham, and this is the story of Mary Jay. Where do we start? <laughs> the idea was already there. I was already in the industry. I was changing where I was at working, and I was trying to make it very girly, and they're like, no, keep it simple. So Francis is like, why don't you know we open our own shop? What does that look like? So where is the money gonna come from? Okay, maybe we can get a loan. So we had a business plan and ideas, and we went to banks, and they were like, hell no. I remember one day Francis came to me, and she said, I think you should sell your house and open a shop to help people like your dad. I think that's how we can get the money. I told her, no, we cannot sell the house. That is off limits. Sat on it, thought on it. And I'm gonna take this leap with her because I truly believe in my heart and my soul. I felt it that we really can change the world and help people like my dad. Let's sell the house and everything in it and let's start this journey. There was many more hurdles to come, you know, finding a place of business that will accept us and that wants our idea. I thought, yeah, we got money. People will take it. We found many places that we wanted to set up and they said, no, 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 we don't want a Planet K. And I said, it's not a Planet K, it's something totally different. It's female focused, kind of like a jewelry store, honestly. There is many, many hurdles that we had to jump, but the first one is financials, the money. Where did it come from? The house. But every step, I think Jay was like, this is what she needed to do. And I was here to support her. He adopted me into this world and gave me a life. He gave me the money or a house to create something with my life. And I wanna take that and help other people like he did for me. He was diagnosed with cirrhosis of the liver first, but he doesn't wanna let go of the demon, which is the alcohol. I remember sitting down with him and telling him, please let me share something with you. Like something that is not gonna hurt you like you're being hurt right now with the alcohol. And he's like, no, no, it's illegal, it's drugs, we're gonna go to jail. When he was falling enough, when he was really sick and the alcohol just was taking over his body, he had one good last fall. And we went to the hospital and I said, Mr. Graham, you gotta stop drinking. Like, this next fall, you could be dead. He said, well, all right, let's try this thing you're talking about, I'm dying anyways. I'll never forget, age 78, almost 80, he quit alcohol and moved over to cannabis. Cannabis healed him. I truly believe it made him last 11 years longer than my mother. The family that smokes together stays together. And it was just so beautiful. He just told me, I'm sorry that you and Rob always got in trouble. This is a beautiful thing. And he was my hero. He was my hero. And I'm just blessed that he brought me into this world and that I was able to show him plant medicine. And that was he was able to give me a chance at life and a chance of taking care of the world. When I feel like breaking down and no more, Every day is a challenge, and we are up against something every fucking day, especially being women in this industry, being a queer couple, it's fucking hard. So he is the true pillar of our business. He is why we are here, why we're still standing, why we started. He is Mary J. 2017, we were the first. Came in, we disrupted the smoke shop scene. We opened up a shop that people were like, hell no, this is never gonna survive. Here we are seven years fucking later about to celebrate seven years in October. I get reached out from legal states, Colorado, California, Las Vegas, please move here. The one thing missing is community and love. And that is what we provide people. And so to have that experience of a dispensary and a social club where you can have all of it together and feel that love and have a place that's safe and home for you, it's fucking beautiful. So I see why other people want us in legal states and I plan to get there. I wanna take care of my people in Texas first and make sure that they're good. We are here, we are queer and we're Texas strong and we're Texas tough. And I just want a safe space for all, but mostly my queer, my people of color and my women because we are not welcome to many places, but here this is home. Y'all, every week I'm testing products. I wanna have a lot of products. I wanna have local products. And I'm about bringing you the cleanest medicine possible. You're too good for it and you deserve the best. The education that we provide for my staff, they're all trichome trained. We're testing them behind the scenes and Francis will throw out a question for them. And you know, it's always keeping them on their toes and making sure they're aware of what's going on. This, we're Texas strong, y'all, come on. What am I most proud of? I am taking care of people not just my community, but internally, my employees, my family. I'm just proud to be able to do that and still be here. I think I'm most proud of the healing that Jay has gone through, through this journey that we've been through. The future, honestly, I always tell Jay, it's like whatever she wants it to be. We want Mary Jay to be a household name. This isn't a business that we started to have an exit plan. This is a business that I started to become a household brand, to be in everybody's homes, that everybody knows Mary Jay is home and safe. It's been six years, almost seven. A lot of trials, a lot of stresses, a lot of times I wanted to pull my hair out and quit, but we are still here. We are still here, Mama. Mm.